In this tutorial, you'll see how end users log into the user portal and what they can do there. Users can log into the JumpCloud user portal at console.jumpcloud.com using their email address and JumpCloud password. For those who want to customize your logo and increase brand recognition on the user portal, check out our videos and articles for uploading your logo. If multi-factor authentication is required and the user has successfully enrolled, they may be prompted for MFA to successfully log in. If you'd like to require MFA for the user portal, check out our course on enabling MFA for more information. Once logged in, users will see any applications they've been given access to. This can include SSO SAML applications or bookmarked applications. Users simply click the desired application, such as Salesforce, Slack, Zoom, and more. On the Profile tab on the left, users can change their first and last name, along with any of their personal or employment information. Note, they cannot change their username or any resource bindings. Users can manage their account security in the Security tab on the left. JumpCloud users can change their password at any time via the Reset Password option. Users can set up or reset multi-factor authentication for TOTP or register security tokens, including physical security keys and built-in sensors on their device, if applicable. Linux users can also add and store their SSH keys within the JumpCloud user portal in the top right. If you have enabled remote installation of the JumpCloud agent from the user portal, users may see the JumpCloud agent pane. This allows new hires or existing employees to install the JumpCloud agent on their device from any remote location. They simply select the operating system and follow the instructions for installation. Check out the JumpCloud University course for end users or our knowledge base for more details about the user portal.